Good evening and welcome back to I-24 News. I'm Benjamin chong Faris. Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton today reaffirmed America's strong ties with Israel at the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee's annual conference, saying we will never allow Israel's adversaries to think a wedge can be driven between us. The presidential hopeful further underscored her commitment to the Jewish state, saying the first thing she would do in the White House is invite the Israeli prime minister. Clinton strongly condemned the Palestinian leadership for inciting violence, celebrating martyrs and rewarding terrorist families. She said the U.S. can never be neutral when it comes to Israel's security and a possible dig at Trump, who has said that he would be neutral in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. As we gather here, three evolving threats, Iran's continued aggression, a rising tide of extremism, across a wide arc of instability and the growing effort to delegitimize Israel on the world stage are converging to make the U.S.-Israel alliance more indispensable than ever. We have to combat all these trends with even more intense security and diplomatic cooperation. The United States and Israel must be closer than ever, stronger than ever, and more determined than ever to prevail against our common adversaries and to advance our shared values. Well, following Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton's speech at APAC, our diplomatic correspondent Tal Shalev filed the following report from the D.C. conference. Well, as you can see probably behind me, Clinton is now bidding farewell to a very welcoming and warm crowd. She really gave, uh, she was also received a very warm and enthusiastic welcoming, but also gave a very, very pro-Israel speech. One that in Jerusalem, for instance, the Israeli prime minister can be very satisfied with. And just to go over the few main points, um, she does give very a lot of pro-Israel assurances. She walks away in many ways from the Obama administration foreign policy on various points. She says that walking away from the Middle East is not an option. Um, she does say that the U.S.-Israel relationship has to be stronger and closer than ever these days and that she will take a, the alliance to the next level. She and our diplomatic correspondent Tal Shalef at the APEC conference also spoke with Jerusalem Mayor Nir Barkad regarding campaign promises by presidential candidates to move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to the Israeli capital. Many of the candidates will call and will probably call this evening uh, to uh, move the American Embassy to Jerusalem. Is that something uh, that uh, you support? Do you support that call? We're ready. We're ready to rock and roll. Just make a decision and we'll implement it in a second so they don't have time to rethink it. Uh, I think it's important. Um, another one of those important relationship issues that hopefully will develop into the future. But is it more than a campaign promise? Do you feel it? Do you think it's something that can really happen? In an instant. Uh, there's no reason it shouldn't. Um, it should have been there a long time ago. It's long due and we'd be first to respond and to help it ha make it happen.